Welcome to a new month, a month in which we can rejoice at the gift of God. Thank Him for the gift of life. A month on which we can call on Him and expect Him to hear us and to answer us. Recently, I heard an announcer call out certain numbers, but he zeroed on one that this single number, when you call it, it's a one-stop number. When there's disaster, when there's an emergency, when you call this number, somebody will answer you and come and help you. So call. And then he added something. Please call only when you are serious. Don't call it out of pranks because some have done that and we've not been able to help them because we've been late in going to where we really needed to be. Emergency numbers that may not even work or that may give wrong directions, or that may be a prank. I want to introduce you to a, num a number. One, two, one, two, one, two. That is Psalm 121, verses one and two. When the Israelites traveled to Zion, where the temple used to be, then they would recite this Psalm. I lift my eyes to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the one who made the heavens and the earth. Here they are calling on the Lord. And by extension, here you are calling on the Lord, the only one who can help you because he made the heavens and the earth and nothing that happens in the heavens and the earth is beyond his understanding, is beyond his comprehension. He can always help you. Because he says, your keeper, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. So as we go through all these challenges, as you go through the joys and the tears of this world, as we go through COVID, as we bury the dead, as we are scared, as even our governments don't know what to do, the CDCs do not even know what to do. This instruction today, tomorrow, this should we open, should we close down? Will you as a child of God? Cry to your father. Say, Lord, open my eyes that I may hear you. Open my eyes that I will see you. But above all, cause me to be on the alert. Because all the signs show that you are coming very soon. And therefore, help me to be a channel of blessing, giving words of hope and encouragement and teaching others how to call on you. This for me is my challenge to you and I. Call on the Lord. In good seasons, in bad seasons, in times of emergency, call on him because he will always answer you. Let us pray. We thank you, our God and Father, for the gift of another month. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege we have to call on you and the assurance that you always hear us because you neither sleep nor slumber. You are the all-powerful God, all-knowing God, able to perfect everything that concerns us. Because you gave your best, your very best, even Jesus for us. Help us to put our faith and trust in you. And you will never disappoint us. We anchor ourselves in you. Knowing that with you on our side, we can overcome the storms of life. This is our heritage. and Therefore, to you alone be glory, praise and honor, both now and forevermore. Amen.